in the laboratory of Rafael Yusta at Columbia University, we are interested in developing new optical imaging techniques to faithfully reconstruct the activity of the largest part of the brain, the cerebral cortex. Neuroscientists have been studying the brain for over a hundred years, yet a theory of how the brain works is still elusive. The brain is the most sophisticated piece of matter in the universe. There are a hundred billion neurons in the human brain with over a trillion individual connections. Cajal described these connections in the late 1800s as an almost impenetrable jungle inside the brain. Neuroscientists have traditionally studied the function of neurons one by one using microelectrodes. While these experiments have historically generated enormous scientific advances, they can only sample a very small number of neurons per experiment. We now know by using fluorescent imaging techniques that even a small region of the cortex is composed of hundreds of thousands of interconnected neurons organized into an individual microcircuit. This video shows neurons firing of a living mouse as it performs a simple motor task of walking on a ball. The flashes of light in the video to the right are calcium fluctuations, which are indicators for neuronal activity. And yet, microscopy is essentially still a two-dimensional technique. The brain, as you can see in this fMRI, exists in three dimensions. To answer this problem, the Eusta lab has applied a sophisticated wavefront shaping technique using devices called a spatial light modulator, or SLM, to bend light to stimulate and simultaneously image neurons throughout the brain, regardless of location. The result is a hologram image of the entire region of interest that combines recordings of the individual nerves and their spatial location in three-dimensional space. Using this 3D imaging technique, one can now image, for the first time, the simultaneous activity of multiple neuronal populations in three dimensions. What you're seeing is a 3D movie of the nervous system of a living zebrafish. We are now working to improve our method to enable imaging of large regions in the cerebral cortex of mice. Because SLMs can mimic many optical functions of a large microscope, it is also possible to miniaturize them to the point that they could become portable, less expensive, and perhaps one day used as the prototype for mini microscopes that could be used to diagnose human patients. We hope you have enjoyed hearing about these projects that the NIH Common Fund supports in the USTA lab. To learn more, please visit us online.